But the flu season has been bad this year. So far, 24 flu-related deaths have been reported in Canada. 119 Canadians have been admitted to the intensive care unit. So a few weeks ago, we talked about how to spot the difference between a cold and flu, and you just saw that board. We'll bring it back up for you. Here's a recap. A cold and runny nose is common for both, but fatigue, headache, high fever, and muscle aches are symptoms of the flu. This year, kids have been hit especially hard. So for more on the topic, I'm joined by Dr. Maria Campos. Thank you so much for being here, doctor. Thank you for having me. So why are kids taking the biggest hit this year? So as we know, the flu comes in cycles. So we have different strains that come um, every few years. And this year we have uh, the strain that is the most common is the H1N1. We know um, it most because of the pandemic that we had in 2009, 2010. Um, and um, Kids have not um, been able to develop an immunity to H1N1. Most adults um, or older people have lived through an H1N1 uh, flu season, whereas uh, little ones, especially um, kids below five years old, have not been able to erect defenses against this uh, type of strain of the flu. So this flu shot gives them that little kind of army within them to be able to fight off anything that may come their way uh, in terms of H1N1. That's correct. Actually, this, uh, this flu shot contains the influenza type A strain H1N1 and H2N3, which are the most common ones that are uh, around this flu season. Okay, so what happens if you've already got the flu this year, if, if you've been suffering already and you've not had your flu shot? At this point, do you just say, well, I've got my immunity because I've already been sick, or do you then go and get your flu shot? So I would recommend getting the flu shot, and the reason why is because there are different strains of the flu. So you even though you might have been infected with one type of strain, you can still get the flu again that same season with a different strain. And the flu shot protects you against three or four of the most common strains of the flu. Therefore, you will still be protected against other strains. If you have the flu, if your kids are sick, how can you tell if your situation is getting worse? At what point do you start to say, okay, this is bad and we need to seek out extra help? Mm -hmm. So one of the good things about the flu is that the flu is a self-limited illness. We know that most people get over it by seven days, at the most two weeks. So if you're not better by two weeks, um, then you should consult a doctor. Other things that you should look out for are shortness of breath. In children, you can look for signs of respiratory distress. So those are things like retractions of the ribs, uh, nasal flaring in babies. You might see tugging underneath the, the trachea. Um, sometimes people describe this type of chest pain, we call pleuritic chest pain, which is a chest pain that happens when you take a deep breath. And um, also, if you have a high-grade fever that doesn't resolve with over-the-counter analgesics like Tylenol or Advil, then that's, that should also prompt you to see your doctor. I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this question, but is it too late to get the flu shot already this year? Definitely not. Never too late. Never too late. You can get it at any point during the flu season. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. We were talking just before the segment about how uh, we have to kind of take care of the most vulnerable in our community. The kids are the ones we need to watch out for, even if you don't have them. So get your flu shot if you haven't already. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me.